Hey, it's Holly. In today's video, we are going to look at the other three Star Wars sets that I dug out for you. Um, if you haven't seen part one of this very short series, this is part two of two for now, um, go back and watch my previous video because I showed you two of these Galoob Star Wars sets. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the remaining three that we have. They are so awesome. I cannot wait to show you around. So let's get started. Today we are going to look at three more of those Galoob Star Wars toys um, done in the same style as their Micro Machines play sets. We will start off with the Stormtrooper. So uh, this one is a pretty classic scene. So it opens like this. Um, that was just a notch for that. So that's how that worked out. Um, so lots of stuff here. Uh, we have one of these TIE fighters, I think is what that's called, um, up at the top and that just hooks, hooks in on this peg. Good use of stickers again, just to give you that feel of the movies. And this, as you may have gathered, is the trash compactor scene. And there's this little wormy guy in there. Um, there's a back trap door there. I think that's to kick people into the trash compactor if I am thinking of this correctly. So here are the figures that come with this one. Let's have a look. Okay, so we've got, let's see. Okay, is this one of the officers? Um, we've got Luke, Leia, Han, some other guy here, uh, Chewie. Okay, so um, I think the idea is that you put them here and then if they go back, whoops, they fall into the trash compactor um, to the best of their ability. So if you look at that from behind, it falls into this chute that then comes out the bottom there, right? So um, once you've got them in there, <laughs> these walls come in, um, which is really, really a cute detail. So um, that is the Stormtrooper set is the whole trash compactor scene. Again, some of these might be mixed up um, from the sets. I think we made our best guesses with some of them. Uh, the next one I wanna show you is the Chewbacca one. So this one slides up and then hinges. So it stays together. It's just a really interesting, I'm trying to figure out how to open them was half of the fun here. Um, so this one, uh, I believe, is Endor and the Ewok planet. And there's all sorts of stuff going on here. Um, really beautiful sticker. Let's just take a minute to admire that. It's really lovely. Um, and it's in beautiful condition. It has a lovely matte finish to it, but uh, quite lovely art. Good use of greenery here and all sorts of <laughs> fun stuff going on. Um, so we'll have a look at, at that. 
there is a chewy that comes out the side here. He's hiding and you control that on the back. So there's this and that currently he's hidden and then whoops. And then he comes out. So super cute mechanism. Um, and what's up, what else is going on up here? This moves up and down. Again, just a mechanism on the back. And we've got sort of two treehouse sides there. This again spins that and let's have a look. So some of this may or may not make sense with this. I don't know. Um, so we've got one of these. I want to call it an ATAT, but I think it's an ATST. I don't know. Um, but we've got him. We have. Oh, is this a TIE fighter? Was the other thing an X Wing? I don't know. Anyway, here's this. Maybe this is an X Wing. I don't know. Um, one of those. We have this net. We have an Ewok with wings on and we have a um, trooper guy and he's on one of those you know bike things speeders speed bike gosh I'm really I really lost all of my lingo sorry um, but it has a hook on the bottom that is meant to hook on so you'll see that there's like a um, sorry, I'm trying to show this to you here. A half circle shape in there inside that hole and that is going to fit perfectly onto this. So we'll take that and we'll pop that on. And you can see that he rotates on this, so he's upright and then he falls sideways. So the idea is he's here and then... Um, so he can fall off. The net, I think, might be meant to go in here somehow. Yes, there's the net. Uh, and then we've got that mechanism on the back so we can catch someone. Should we try to do it? Probably. I mean, these toys are pretty fun, let's be honest. Put a guy down here. Ooh. The dexterity required, though, the tiny hands required. <laughs> I don't even have big hands, and this is hard. Okay, here we go. Oh, you can't see this on the camera. Okay, we're gonna do our best. He's fallen down, but we're just gonna do our best. <laughs> that's pretty fun. So that's cool. Um, and then this one, uh, I'm not sure how this one's meant to be used, to be honest. Maybe, oh, when he's spinning, can we? Oh, I bet that's what that is. Okay, hang on. That's probably what that's for. Um, yeah, and then we've got, I think he's, I think 3 is meant to be tied up in this chair, if I'm recalling correctly. Um, and these other figures here, another Ewok. I really love this one. Ridiculous, so cute. Um, so that's this one. I think I think this Ender set is probably one of the more fun sets in terms of like the level of interaction you get with it and a lot of figures. Surprising amount of figures. Um, and you know what? We're grateful that it's easy to open. I don't love the exterior. I feel like it's kind of, I don't know, could have been better. The other ones seem more interesting, but it's cute. So. That is the Chewbacca set. Okay, and then the last one I have to show you, and this one took me forever to figure out how to open, so we're glad I did not do it on camera. Um, this is the Darth Vader set. So this one, you just kind of pull forward. 
there we go. And it opens this way. And uh, again, we can see the scene where this window breaks. Um, there is a mechanism on the back. Bear with me. So this, this all clicks together. Um, I think that one has to go first like that. And then see how there's this here. You can use your finger to break the glass. Love the detail of it. Um, again, gotta say the use of stickers on these, like kudos to Galoob on their design of these. They're really, really good. Um, this folds open. And this bottom part is pretty classic. Now I feel like this should be different, but maybe this is, maybe this is Lando's ship now. Maybe that's what that's meant to be. Um, so we've got a number of characters. Uh, we've got Chewie, we've got Darth Vader. We have a trooper that appears to be shot. Luke with his lightsaber out and we have Lando. Um, and of course, in the middle, we have, now how do we do this again? Oh, you turn this. Um, Han is frozen in carbonate in the middle. So good, so good. So it's flat on this side, completely flat, but on the front, you can see that iconic, uh, you know, frozen in carbonate there. Um, so really, really good set. Um, but that is the Darth Vader set. So let me know what you think of these sets. I, I think they're really well done. I think the detail is top notch. Um, really good figures as well. Can't deny that. But um, again, a little less easy to piece together. I don't no, I'd have to really do some digging to see if there are websites with more information about these sets, what came with them, other than trying to find some product box photos from a new box set. But we love it. So that is the Darth Vader set from Gloob. And uh, again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What, what was your favorite thing about these? Is this something that you would collect? Did you have micro machines as a child? Let me know in the comments. Okay, these are super fun. Um, <laughs> love the trash compactor. Um, and you know, this one, this one's cute. The, the Han and Carbonate's cute, but I really have to say, uh, if I had to pick one of these sets to keep myself and get rid of everything else, of all five of the sets, I would keep this one. I don't think it's as visually appealing on the shelf. He's kind of, I don't know. I feel like he just looks a little off, but. Man, the inside of this one is just so gorgeous. And um, here I am just another day struggling to opening these up. But just to reiterate, the sticker on this thing is so gorgeous. It's unbelievable. Um, and I think they just really knocked it out of the park with this set. So um, if you had to, ooh, sorry, if you had to pick one, of these five sets, which one would you pick? Uh, for me, I think just the, the palette and the art in this one is so gorgeous. It also comes with a lot of pieces. I love that you can, tr you, you know, drop that trap down on someone, like it's so fun. Um, <laughs> they are pretty complicated to open, so thanks for your patience with that. But uh, so much fun, so much fun. Um, but I think that one too. Also, I mean, uh, everyone loves Ewoks, so I think. I think everyone loves Ewoks. I do. Uh, so that's that would be my pick, is that Chewbacca set. I think it's awesome. 
Um, what do you think of those toys? Are there other toys that you have picked up that are similar in that kind of Polly Pocket style that were done by someone else? If you haven't checked them out yet, I have a whole bunch of other videos on some of the Tomy Pokemon play sets from, I wanna say 1997. Um, we have a number of those. Again, just one of those really uh, spontaneous Craigslist buys that came up. Um, some of the ones I have are even new and packaged directly from Japan with Jap Japanese packaging, um, which is really awesome. They're just like mint condition. But I've got some that are open as well that I've shown you in some of those videos. So definitely go check them out if you haven't yet because that was another set that my husband loves Pokemon. So it was, a, it was an easy, easy one to say yes to. Again, there's so many um, combat toys out there and I love that. Um, I don't have the space to have them all, maybe one day, but that's why I've kept my personal collection, that my niche down to just Bluebird Polly Pocket, not Disney Bluebird stuff, just Bluebird Polly Pocket, 1989 to 1997. That's really the core of my collection. So um, all of these extra things I'm showing you, well, so far either they came in a lot with uh, a bunch of Polly Pockets, if I've got something else that I've acquired, or I bought them for my husband, Chris. So one of those two things. Um, but I love these Star Wars sets. I think they're awesome. So um, yeah, I'd love to hear all of your thoughts on any of those compact toy series. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, please hit the subscribe button. It helps out the channel. It helps push out our channel to more people on YouTube and help grow this community. It's free to do. It costs you absolutely nothing to subscribe, but it helps the channel so much. Um, thank you to my longtime subscribers. And we bring out new videos every Monday and Thursday. So uh, stay tuned for all things, uh, you know, vintage compact toys, but really most specifically vintage Polly Pocket. Um, also, if you're on social media, you can find me on uh, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Just look up Pocket Vintage Toys. Those are the best places to connect with me outside of YouTube. And uh, other than that, working on getting stuff together for our auction, um, working on a date for that. I have a sneaking suspicion that it will probably be on April 14th or 15th. Uh, just working on <laughs> sorting everything out right now. So I will keep you up to date. And of course I will be doing full previews of that so that you know what I'm going to have for sale. Um, and I've pretty much decided that we're gonna do it on Whatnot. So the Whatnot app is where that will be taking place. But again, when I've got all the details, you will be the first to know right here on this channel. So do hit the subscribe button if you're interested in checking that out. And uh, yeah, that's it for me for today. So I hope you all have an awesome weekend coming up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.